Now, the Civil Society for Legislative Advocacy Center and Transparency International have called on government, financial institutions, civil society, and the private sector to unite in dismantling enablers of illicit financial flows in the African sub-region. The Center on the Sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly says this is important as the region loses billions of dollars in cash and other resources to the scourge of illicit financial flows. Muyo Thomas reports. The Civil Society for Legislative Advocacy Center says illicit financial flows undermine the foundations of the Nigerian economy, impede social progress, and threatens future generations. In a report presented by the Center at the ongoing United Nations General Assembly tagged Shadow Networks, the enablers of illicit financial flows in sub-Saharan Africa jurisdiction, says Illicit flows has denied Nigeria good and quality education, fund for hospitals, and national infrastructure. Illicit financial flow continue to undermine, uh, you know, uh, development in Africa and Nigeria in particular. We decided to uh, launch these two reports side by side so that Nigerian government can take the necessary action to ensure that we uh, deal with issues of corruption. Uh, ensuring more openness, more transparency uh, in the way and manner in which uh, government deals with issues. The report recommends strengthening legal frameworks, promoting public sector integrity, improving transparency and accountability, amongst others. This report, you know, um, came up with some set of uh, recommendations uh, suggesting to the government to take more proactive action so that we are able to achieve sustainable development goal goal 16 because without taking those you know uh, recommendation uh, to improve in our institutions to improve in our judicial system to improve in the anti-corruption uh, it will be extremely difficult for us to make the necessary progress the african union illicit financial flows report says Nigeria is responsible for about 20% of the above $50 billion lost annually to illicit financial flows in Africa, amounting to the continent losing over 3% of its GDP, an amount that not only denied the continent development, but also encourages crisis and unrest through the smuggling of light arms. Muyo Thomas, TVC News, New York. And for more on the control of illegal financial flows, TVC's foreign affairs correspondent Moyo Thomas joins me from New York. Um, Moyo, I see that recommendations were made um, as regards a legal framework to curb this. But there have been several legal frameworks. What makes this particular one different? Now, it's speaking in international cooperation in ensuring that the legal, uh, the legal framework uh, implemented I actually recognize that it is not only for the lack of this legal framework or the laws. There are laws, but the implementation of these laws has been the challenge. And because it is recognized that the role of the international, um, international uh, of the other countries, Western countries particularly, in the illicit flow of uh, financial illicit financial flows. This is the reason why it is requesting that there are tighter laws across the world to ensure that even if this uh, financial flows are coming from Africa, the Western countries will not be open to accepting them. So these are the um, requests that uh, Sisla brought before. And he said they also highlighted that this is important as the world is uh, aiming to achieve peace, uh, which is the core focus of uh, the Onga 79. Uh, 70, almost 80 years after the United Nations uh, came together, after World War II, the world is now seeing increasing wars and um, conflict crisis, and how then, the, uh, how can this be coped if not uh, the world coming together and working to ensure that uh, all channels that can encourage uh, conflict and crisis is blocked? Mm. And, and Moyo, I see that this meeting involved um, CISLAC and Transparency International. Give us more details on other issues or this particular issue um, that was discussed. So there are so many other um, civil society organizations that are also holding um, uh, sideline events uh, as this as the 
United Nations General Assembly is ongoing. This is because they believe that the whole world is here now and can listen. So it's a time for them to bring issues that are topical and that need attention, a global attention. So CISLAC and uh, Transparency International use this opportunity to em uh, emphasize the need for the world to work to help Africa develop, not just bringing development or bringing charity or bringing arms, but also helping in ensuring that Africa on its own can stand and the world is uh, not just uh, seeing Africa as a charity organization or a charity case, but let the laws within the country work, encourage Africa to develop on its own. Thank you so much, uh, Moya, for that update. Uh, for an affairs